Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. We are back for another Bible study. We're going to be studying in the New Testament again. <clears throat> just want to start off by praying. And please, you guys, please, I am so in need of prayers right now. And I think, and, and you should always be praying for all of us, all of us, the church, the body of Christ. You should, be, please, we need it in, this ter in these dark hours and times we are living in. We need prayer more than anything else. This nation needs prayer. This country, this world is going into darkness. Everything is turning upside down. We need prayer. I can feel this darkness in my spirit. This whole last month, I have felt drained in my spirit. I have felt dizzy spells. I have felt not defeated, but it is very hard of a fight. And I know whatever is causing it is very strong and evil. And it's not good because I can feel it in my spirit. I just feel drained. I don't... You know, but, but God is faithful, and he won't leave us here. Everything is only for a season. So if you are feeling these things in your spirit, if you are just feeling drained and down, and you don't know why, and all these things are going wrong in your life, we are in the end of days. This is the time where we need prayer the most. This is the time where we need to pick up this book, the Holy Bible, and read it. Study it constantly. Get into worship. Get down on your face, on your hands and knees, and pray to God. And cry out for mercy and strength and faith in the shield of faith and the sword of the word of the spirit. The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness and the boots of the preparation of the peace of the gospel. We need these things and we need to be praying for them. Please, Lord, we come together right now in the body of, as the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. And we pray that you give us strength in these dark hours, Lord. In these dark times, on this evil day of Halloween, please, God, let all the witches and the warlocks and all the evil things that are praying and sacrificing to evil things tonight, let them all be denied and canceled and done away with in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray against this evil in this world right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We come up against this because he that is in us, we are the body of Christ, is stronger than he that is in this, this world, Lord. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are called and set apart. And we come to you right now as the body of Christ, and we pray against this evil in this world. We pray against this witchcraft. We pray against this warlocks. We pray against these evil, disgusting things they are doing. We pray against the all the bad things they're doing, Lord. Please, Lord, break the chains and the binds that are on us. And anyone else that is being affected by this and break it and cast it from us in the name of Jesus Christ we pray cover us in your righteous blood Lord give me the words to speak tonight according to your wisdom and your understanding and your knowledge strengthen our righteousness Lord strengthen us and fill us full of the Holy Spirit of truth and set us on Holy Spirit fire for you again Lord strengthen us Lord call our hearts to repentance help us soften our take our stony hearts away and give us those fleshly hearts Lord Give us a new heart that loves you with all of our body, mind, soul, and strength and power, Lord. Focus our eyes on you, Lord. Give us the sight of eagles for you, Lord. Help us to seek your kingdom above all things and your will for our life, afore and with and of all and above all things. Because you are faithful, God, and you will never leave us in this wicked world. This only everything is for a season, Lord. This will pass. This will pass like anything else. We just got to endure till the end, and we shall be saved. And if we endure till the end, Satan shall flee from us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. And I declare in this Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Okay, guys, we are going to be reading in the book, the New Testament. Let me see. We did Philippians yesterday. I'm just going to keep on reading and the next book, the next book, and the next book, because all the New Testament, or the whole Bible is important, but especially the New Testament. We are Gentile, but we are no longer Gentile nor Jew. We are the body of Christ. We are a new creation. The two brought together to make one. Us two, Jew, Gentile, mixed with Christ, and born again in spirit and water, and rose up a new creation between the three mixed together. And now God has came down and abides in us, and his kingdom is in us now, and we in him, in Jesus' name. Okay, we're going to study in Colossians, you guys. It's another book of Paul, <clears throat> chapter 1. 
Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ who are in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints, because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which has come to you, as it is also in all the world and is bringing forth fruit, as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth, as you also learned from Ephraim, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ and on your behalf, <clears throat> who also declared to us your love in the Spirit. For this reason we also, since the day we heard of it, do not cease to pray for you and ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fr fruitful in every good work and increasing in knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by Him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through Him and for Him. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church. We are the church. Christ is the head. Who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may be, he may have preeminence in all things. For it pleased the Father that in him all the fullness should dwell, and by him to reconcile all things to himself by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven have been made peace through the blood of his cross. <sighs> and you who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he is reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. If indeed you continue in faith, grounded and steadfast and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard which we was preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, became a minister. I now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ for the sake of his body, which is the church, of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God, which was given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations. But now has been revealed to his saints, to them God willed to make known what are the riches of his, the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Him we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. To this end I also labor, striving according to his working, which works in me mightily. Chapter 2. This is heavy, guys. I hope you're listening. For I want, chapter 2, For I want you to know what a great conflict I have for you and those in Laodicea. And for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love and attaining all, to all riches of the full assurance and of understanding, to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hidden all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Now this I say, lest anyone should deceive you with persuasive words. For though I am absent in the flesh, yet... I am with you in the Spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus as the Lord, as your Lord, so walk in Him, rooted, because Jesus is the true vine. We need to be rooted into Him in faith and built up in Him, because He is the foundation. And established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. <clears throat> Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, according to science, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. He is above all the principalities and powers of this world. And I don't care if it's Halloween and all these evil things be, are being sacrificed and 
and Satan being prayed to and all the worship. Jesus Christ is the head of all principalities, powers. And he's above all and in all and everything is in him. And there's nothing he can't do. And we cast down all these evil principalities and powers in this wicked world. Because Christ is the head of them all and he, nobody can overcome him. Because he that is in us is greater than he in this world or above or anywhere around. Hallelujah in Jesus name. In him you were also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. By putting off the body of sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ buried with him in baptism. In which you also were raised with him through faith in the working of God. Who raised him from the dead. And you being dead in your trespasses and uncircumcision of your flesh. He has made alive together with him having forgiven you all trespasses. And he has circumcised our hearts. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us. Which was contrary to us. And he, was, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Having disarmed principalities and powers, he had made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. So let no one judge you in food, or in drink, or regarding a festival, or a new moon, or a Sabbath, which are a shadow of things to come, but the substances of Christ. Let no one cheat you of your reward, talking, taking delight, and false humility and worship of angels, and intruding into those things which he has not seen vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding fast the head from the whole from whom the whole all the body, nourished and knit together by joints and ligaments, grows with the increase that is from God. Therefore, if you died with Christ, we died with Christ on the cross, and we rose again from the basic principles of the world. Why is there living in the world? Do you subject yourselves to regulations? Do not touch, do not taste, do not handle, which all concern things which perish with the using, according to the commandments and doctrines of men, question mark. These things indeed have an appearance of wisdom and self-imposed religion, false humility and neglect of the body, but are of no value against the indulgence of the flesh. Chapter 3. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where we sit in Christ on, in heavenly places on the right hand of the Father, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above and not on things of the earth. Be led by the Spirit. Treasure up your rewards in heaven and not on this earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire and covetousness which is idolatry idol idol adultery because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them but now you yourselves are put to put off all these anger malice wrath blasphemy filthy language out of your mouth do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man who is renewed in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, the forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must also do. But above all these things, put on love, charity which is the bond of perfection and let the peace of god rule in your hearts to which also you were called in one body to be thankful and be thankful let the word of christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the lord and whatever you do in word or deed do all in the name of the lord jesus giving thanks to god the father through him wives submit to your own husbands as it is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be bitter toward them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children lest they become discouraged. Bond servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service, as men-pleasers, but in sincerity of heart, fearing God. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will... Receive the reward of inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. 
but he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done, and there is no partiality with God. Chapter 4. Masters, give your bondservants what is just and fair, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Meanwhile, praying also for us, that God would open to us a door for the word, to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in chains, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each person. So study to show yourselves approved, so you have, you're always ready to give an answer of your faith in Christ, and that you may answer each person according to what question they have. And let your words be with grace grace, but let them be also seasoned with salt, if need be. Titius, a beloved brother, faithful minister, and fellow servant in the Lord, will tell you all the news about me. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that he may know your circumstances and com comfort your hearts. With on, on, with, uh, on, on, sim, sorry. with one Simus, a faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you, they will make known to you all things which are happening here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you with Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, about whom you received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him, and Jesus, who is called Justice. These are my only fellow workers for the kingdom of God, who are the, of the circumcision. They're Jewish. They have proved to be a comfort to me. But in Christ there is no difference. There is no black, white, Asian, or Mexican, or... Jew or Caucasian or Gentile or circumcised or uncircumcised, slave nor free, nor bond nor servant. There is Christ in all and in us all. And we are in him. The only thing, we died. Our lives are in heaven with, on, on the right hand of God with Christ. It's Christ now living through us. We put on the mind and body of Christ and we work, our works are under righteousness now. And we let Christ through the Holy Spirit guide us according to the will of God, and we let him live through us on this earth. We gave our lives up on the cross so that Christ could live through us now, and he paid the price, and so we could be saved. So we now died on the cross and awaiting for Jesus to return so that we may appear with him because he has our lives with him, and when he returns, our lives are with him, and we shall appear where he is. So we're allowing him. We aren't allowing him to do nothing, actually. He paid the price. He bought us. And we are saved. And now he lives through us for the remainder of the time that God allows us on this earth. Christ is living in us. And he is the one that we're putting to shame. And he's the one that we're allowing to suffer if we do these things and we live in sin. So since Jesus died for all and is in all and we're all in him, whatever you're doing, you're doing unto Christ because he is in all and we are in him. So everyone that you're doing anything to, you might as well... Get rid of that because we're doing it under Christ. Because he died for all. And he is all and in all. Epaphras, who is one of you, a bondservant of Christ, greets you always, laboring fervently for you in prayers, that you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him witness that he has a great zeal for you and those who are in Laodicea, and those in Hier Hierapolis. Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Greet the brethren who are in Laodicea, in Nymphus, in the church that is in the, his house. And I'm not saying I'm a perfect Christian. We all fall. We all f fall short of the glory of God. But it's no longer us. It's Christ living through us. We, Our lives are in heaven. We died on the cross. Okay? We are now living through the Spirit. Through Christ. And He is through us. I'm not perfect. We all fall. But we strive. And we keep pushing forward. And we get back up and we repent. And we don't do it again. And we try our hardest not to do it again. But when we fall, we don't have that guilty shame because of grace allows us to stand back up. God's grace allows us. That's what gives us the power and the strength to stand back up and keep pushing forward no matter how much guilty shame. Because Jesus conquered it all. And he conquered the consciousness and the weakness of the flesh. And we now live on and we please God through the spirit and truth. Because God is spirit. We ain't held accountable for the things of the flesh no more. But faith is dead without works, and works is dead without faith. We please God through faith and spirit and truth, okay? But 
our faith, we have to walk out. And when we walk it out, that is our works. What we do in faith is our works, our fruits unto righteousness, okay? Now, we, now when this epistle is read among you, see that it is read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and that you likewise read the epistle from Laodicea. I got a P, I got a P. And say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. This solution by my own hand, Paul, remember my chains. Grace be with you. Amen. Okay, that's it, guys. God bless you all. Please like or please watch and share this video. And uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I cannot do live videos. It won't let me until I've had a thousand subscribers. And if anybody has been watching these videos and wanting to comment and noticed that the comments are turned off, my mother just re told me today I didn't even know it. So Facebook must have turned them off because I'm preaching the word, the truth. And they don't like it. But uh, if you want to comment, just uh, message me on Facebook. My Facebook is uh, Zachary Ryland. Z-A-C-H-E-R-Y-R-Y-L-A-N-D. And there's a picture of the, it's a face, the face of Jesus is the picture. And it has voting something or a circle around his picture. Saved by Grace is my background picture. But uh, if you need me or want to say anything, just message me on Facebook. I love you guys. Please share this video. Repent. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. I love you guys. God bless you.